A boiler drum has two main functions. It receives heated feed water to make up for water that's converted to steam and flows out of the boiler. It also collects the steam that's produced in the water walls. This is a simplified cutaway view of a typical boiler drum. The bottom part of the drum contains water to be circulated back through the boiler. The top part of the drum is used to collect steam. Heated feed water is fed into the drum through a distribution pipe. The drum is usually kept about half full of water. In this example, the mixture of water and steam that returns to the drum from the water walls is directed against baffles called drum shrouds that run the length of the drum. The shrouds direct the mixture of water and steam into moisture separators, which are located at the top of the shrouds. The moisture separators separate the water from the steam. The water falls into the lower part of the drum, where it mixes with the feed water. The steam rises into the upper part of the drum. The steam could still have some water mixed in with it, so in this example, it is sent through dryers, which are located in the top of the drum. The dryers remove as much water as possible before the steam leaves the drum. This is important because water that flows out of the drum with the steam could damage downstream components. The steam is discharged from the drum through steam outlet pipes.